creating surveys in Microsoft Forms using Copilot. So Microsoft Forms is a service that's been out there for quite a while. It is a super flexible, easy to use service to you know, create quick forms to capture data from your team, others. You can even publish them publicly if your IT allows that. And one of the things that uh, Copilot can really assist with is in creating surveys for teams. You know, the, Microsoft has some phenomenal survey tools um, like Pulse and Glint that you can use. But if you don't have that or have access and the license to it within your org, Forms is a great alternative to pull some data. And so the, what I love here is that here's my forms. And if I wanted to, let's say, survey, let's say, and I was just recently with a pharmaceutical uh, group, and, you know, I wanted to show them how we could create it. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select a new form. And the first thing that you'll see is that Copilot pops up. Right off the bat, it's anticipating that we might want to use that to help draft our response. And we always have that view prompt so it can give you some suggestions. The following though is a modified one based off of something a colleague of mine uh, did a while ago. And I thought it was phenomenal. He did it around clinicians. And I was like, ooh. And the colleague, I got to give him a shout out, uh, Chad Stout. I was hoping he was going to publish uh, this particular co-pilot, but he has been running flat out helping customers around a whole range of uh, different needs that they have. And so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to take, I've got a prompt pre-typed. I'm going to copy it and put it over here and then we'll take a look at it. And it says, I would like to create a survey for a group of pharmaceutical researchers to better understand their day-to-day -day experience, researching the development of new vaccines, communicating with colleagues, finding the appropriate information for their research, and completing their professional training and education. I'd also like to understand how they are feeling about the demands on their time in a professional sense, how this is affecting their time outside of the workplace, and how they think their time could be better allocated to improve research leading to vaccine development, improve educational and training opportunities, and remove stress in the workplace and at home. It's pretty comprehensive. The thing is, I want to keep a pulse on my team. How are they feeling and doing and be able to get a, a response that I can do something with? So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say generate. And then I'm going to sit back. I can sip my coffee. In my case, I might be sipping my water right now. And it says it's finalizing questions. It's almost there. And look at what it's doing for me. Now, to do this manually by hand, I have to take a lot more time thinking, not just about what I want to ask, but how I'm going to ask it. What's the format of that? And typing all this stuff in. I'm going to go ahead and say keep it. And now it's going to actually drop them into the form. There we go. And lastly, it's going to do one last thing, looking for great themes. Oh, it evens helped me there. Kind of like that theme right there. Let's say keep it. So now I have this form that's been themed. Look at that. I even have some motion. So it looks great. It took my prompt and turned it into an introduction. This survey aims to better understand the day to day experience of pharmaceutical researchers in developing new vaccines, communicating with colleagues, finding appropriate information, completing professional training and education, and managing work life balance. Beautiful. And then as I start coming down, what is your job title? Now, I didn't tell it any of these, but it actually pulled based off of data internally here in Microsoft, some roles for pharmaceutical research, research scientist, research associate, postdoctoral researcher, pharmaceutical engineer. Um, I can go ahead. This is a completely editable field. And then it goes on and it has a whole range of information. Um, then I can even come in, I can preview it, what it's gonna look like to a user where they'd come in, click start now, then they'll get that and they can say, oh, I like this on average, how many hours a week uh, do you spend on research and development? Um, I feel overloaded, overwhelmed, and I can fill out all these different fields and start to contribute. When I'm done, I'm not going to see anything right now, but I will get a, a response with visualizations and all that. It can also be exported to Excel. And all of it was done 
quickly and easily using Copilot in Microsoft Forms. So I hope you found this little demo uh, helpful. I hope you use Forms. Take the prompt that I'm going to supply, modify it to be your own, right? Put your own things in there, and I think you'll be very happy. With that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Take care, and as always, with your co-pilot snacks, ciao.